<laughs> and I'm gonna get a bit of hate on this one because this is a bag at the minute that's very, very popular, but I just don't like. Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, let's talk about the luxury designer houses or the luxury designer handbag brands that I simply will not buy from. I know, shocking, I actually have a limit of things that I won't buy. I can get carried away, but there are actually quite a few of the designer houses that I just won't buy from. This is a tag video that was created by With A Touch Of Luxury and the initial tag was to talk about the five design houses or luxury brands that you would not buy from. Once I started to look at this and have a bit of a research through Luxury Google, I'm actually at eight brands so far and I have the feeling if I were to continue to keep going, there's probably quite a few more that I would add to this list. This tag video I think is really, really fun and interesting. I have watched this video by Wild Unfiltered, by Living Life Loud with Nick Snell and by Deals Addiction. I will link their videos down below in the description box. It is really, really fun. But let's get started on the eight luxury designer brands that I will not buy from. Number one, the first brand on my list is Balenciaga and it probably goes without saying. After all of the recent scandal, and I'm not gonna put any images or anything on the screen because I really do feel that's just perpetuating the abuse, I am not ever going to buy from that brand. I'm probably quite fortunate in that it was never a brand that I was really drawn to anyway. I never had anything on my wish list from them. There was never anything high up my list of things that I wanted to buy that happened to be from Balenciaga. I don't own anything from from that design house and there's nothing on my wish list that I've now had to take off but in any event even if there was this is just not a brand that I could buy from any longer I just feel I just feel with their recent advertising campaign that it's not for me and the reality is whenever we carry these bags and we walk about with them we are effectively advertising the brand we're effectively putting it out there and it's not a brand that I want to carry. It's not an ethos or it doesn't have the values of a company that I want to carry about on me. The one thing I actually from Balenciaga I did really like for a while was the Balenciaga jumper that's very, very logoed. And that's a perfect example of how we are when we carry these things, a walking logo or a walking advertisement for the brand. And I suppose with all the recent advertising they put out, I don't want to be carrying the Balenciaga brand or I don't want to be advertising the Balenciaga brand or spreading the word of the Balenciaga brand. So it's a bag that I, or brand, I simply won't ever buy Number from. Number two is Bulgari. And I do think their bags are very, very pretty. I specifically really like the serpent head on them. I think it's very intricate. I think it's very detailed. I think it's very beautiful but their bags are quite elegant in the most part. They're not a type of bag that I would have a huge use for and I can see my mini capucines in the magenta in the background. The type of bag that I particularly like from Bulgari, the little small one with the handle that's the serpent, is pretty similar to the shape of that mini capucine and I think for anything that I would use the Bulgari bag for, I would end up using my Capucines for. So it's not something that I would actually invest my money in. I don't think it's a brand that there's ever been something that I have seen that I have been so drawn to and so attracted to that it has convinced me or made me even seriously think about spending this level of money on or the level of money that those bags cost. Number three <laughs> is Senrev. I just don't like them. I just don't like the bags. It's nothing against the quality or anything. I've never had one to talk about the quality. I know they're a bag or a brand that was very heavily featured on social media and there was a lot of influencers and YouTubers that would have advertised Senrev and you would have seen with Senrev. Personally, I just don't like the look of them. It's not anything I've ever particularly, particularly been drawn to. Their most famous one, the one that you can turn into a backpack, I, I think looks quite chunky. It's not something I would carry. I think it looks quite unattractive if I'm completely honest. This is my only my opinion, by the way. If these are brands or bags that you love, you do you, you buy what you love. Look at these, I have so many bags and I say this so many times, I have so many bags that people think, why are you buying that, that's hideous, but it's what I like. And if it's what you like, you buy it, regardless of what I say or what anybody on the internet says, you buy what you love. But Senrev for me is just one of those brands I just don't like, I just don't think they're 
pretty. I don't think they're a bag that I would ever buy. The only one that I've seen that I thought that was quite nice is Chase Amy has quite a small one, which I don't even know what they're called. And I thought it was the nicest of what I've seen from them, but it still wouldn't be enough to convince me to buy one. Number four. <laughs> and I'm gonna get a bit of hate on this one because this is a bag at the minute that's very, very popular. You will see a lot on YouTube. You will see a lot of people showing them. Gwenny has one, Steph has one. They're very, very popular, but I just don't like them. And it's the Marc Jacobs tote. Now I can get how they're very usable and I can get how they're very practical. I just, I just don't like the look of them. And they're just something that I'm not going to buy. Now that is only my opinion. Again, only my opinion. Those girls who I love and adore by the way and have fabulous taste. Gwenny loves pink nearly as much as I do, maybe more. I just don't like the Marc Jacobs tote or the Marc Jacobs bags and that's another brand that I'm not going to buy from. Number five is Le Bouton. Now I have my share of Le Bouton shoes. I have a collection video of my Le Bouton collection. Le Bouton was my first love. I love their shoes. I can't really walk in the very, very high ones anymore but I think they're pretty fab still. I love their shoes. I just don't really like their handbags. Oh, I'm offending a few people today. I just don't really like their handbags. The only one I've ever seen is Mary from Snow 007's channel has one that she unboxed a while ago and I really liked it. It was a tote bag and I thought I could get on board with that. If I didn't have the Neverfull for work, which is when I use my tote bags, that particular bag I thought was pretty fab looking and I thought I could use that. But there hasn't been any other bags from them that I've really loved and would justify me spending the money on them. I will probably continue to buy their shoes because I'm crazy, but the bags, I just don't think they're for me. There's never been one that I've just loved enough to spend that sort of money. Number six is Burberry. I am very interested in a Burberry trench coat. I really, really like them. My friend Tyler has one, he has one. He tells me it's the older style, it's stunning. I really, really love it. I really do like their trenches. I would be interested in one of those, but I just don't really like their handbags. Just don't really like them. I don't. There's never been one of them that I have looked at and thought, yes, that's for me, or I would really like that, or I'm going to buy that. None of them have really piqued my interest and I don't think there ever being one that I would like enough that I'm going to buy. So I don't think I'll have a Burberry bag either. Number seven is Versace. <laughs> Just, yeah, um, you're all gonna be hating me today. Versace bags, I just, there's none of them again that I really like. I know that Gwenny really likes Versace, but there's just none of them that I really, really like. There's none of them I've ever seen that I've thought, yes, I want that, I want to spend the money on it. They're just not really for me. And I suppose part of it when it's these sorts of bags, they're so expensive that a bag has to be really speak to me. I have to love it to spend this sort of money because I work for my money. Unfortunately, I haven't won the lottery yet and there isn't a bank full of billions sitting over there. So I work for my money and I have to think about everything that I'm spending. Now, I'm not saying I'm overly sensible. We all know that's not always the case, but I do have to really, really love it. It has to be something that I just can't get out of my mind and can't get past. And I think for everybody, but certainly for me, there are brands that I just naturally am more drawn to and brands that I prefer. My favorite brands, Louis Vuitton, Chanel. I love that Birkin. I, although I, there's not a huge amount of Hermes that I buy, but I really do love that Birkin. I love my little Gucci super money over there. I love my Prada that you can see up there. I actually still really like this Teddy Blake bag. I, I've said before, it's my mom's favorite bag in my whole collection. So those brands, your core brands, my Dior, I love the saddlebag, I love the shape of it. I, I really like Dior's saddlebag. But there are certain brands that I almost find it easier, <laughs> I know, to spend ridiculous amounts of money on. There are certain brands that I suppose my love for the brand is already at a certain point that I then find it easier to go on and spend the money. I'm looking at the Fendi, oh, I can't even speak. I'm looking at the Fendi Baguette, that's another one. So there's certain brands that I'm already kind of on the way to being able to spend that money. And there's others that I just can't reconcile my mind to spending that money on. And there's probably no sense to that. And it makes no sense. And I know that it's a bit crazy because they're all silly money. But there's just certain brands that I just find it harder to think about justifying that level of money. To me, because worth is relative, to me, I don't see those bags and those brands for me and what I would use and what I already have as being worth that sort of money because for some reason or another, I don't think I'm going to use it enough. Okay, and lastly that I have on my list is Valentino. 
I don't think I'll buy a Valentino bag. I do have Valentino shoes. I like their shoes. I have never again seen any of their bags that I have liked enough to think that I'm going to buy them. Dale has a Versace... No, she doesn't. She has a Valentino camera bag and I think it looks very, very usable. But I had a Chanel camera bag once and I never really used it. And I think I like the idea of the camera bag, but then I don't really use it when I have it. I always go back to the Chanel Mini or the Coker Crush that's over here. I really love those. I find them very usable. So I don't think there's a Valentino bag that I'm going to see that's going to make me want to buy it. So I don't think I'm going to buy that either. And I actually put Valentino in my list of bags that I thought maybe to avoid in 2023. And I annoyed a few people with that video as well. But you'll see Valentino bags in reductions quite a bit. So if you're going to buy them, try and buy them when you can get that reduction on them. But that's one of the brands that I don't think I'm gonna spend my money on. Of course, people change their minds, things happen, things get released and you suddenly go, woo, what that? Because it probably at one point would have told you that there wasn't a Prada bag that I could see myself buying. And I love that little raffia one that's over there. So there are things that get released that may make me eat my words. But at the minute, these are eight luxury brands or houses that I do not see myself buying from. And if I do have to eat my words, please don't come for me too hard. And if you have any of those bags, if you love any of these bags, if you love any of these brands, don't listen to me. I'm just someone that sits on the internet and talks about handbags. Trust yourself, trust your gut, buy what you love, buy what works for you, buy what makes you happy, and don't listen to us whenever it comes to telling you what you should or shouldn't buy. This is just my opinion. All of these videos are just the person's opinion. Opinion. So you buy what you love. Thank you so much for watching me. Thank you for being here. Please take care and I will see you again in the next one.